everybody, Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. I got up super early this morning and made a video um, playing with texture paste and black gesso and um, a focal point. Very, very fun. A little sandpaper in there too. So now I'm just doing the intro to the piece since the piece is already done. So these pieces, um, I, I'm putting them in my altered book, but they can also be put on a substrate and made into a mixed media piece of artwork. There's no reason you have to limit yourself to an altered book. Uh, it's fun for me to do these different techniques in an altered book and then it's easy for me to carry them around and share them with others. I use it as a teaching tool as well. So uh, no more from me. Uh, let's uh, go play with the uh, Black Gesso 101. See you on the table. All right, so I have her glued down. This is my focal point. I have her glued down with Mod Podge. Mod Podge. And I took my little squeegee and I just made sure that she was down. All of her edges are down. I've been saving her for something and she gets a whole page. There's another half to her someplace. She has a another half to her face. I don't know where that is, so it doesn't matter. And now I'm going to grab a stencil and my texture paste. Now my texture paste is what? Four weeks? Five weeks old? And it is still very, very workable. Alright, and I'm going to go in here with that texture paste and I might get a little bit on her but that is not my intention. My intention is to be going around her with that texture paste. This is going to give it some dimension. Doing it right on the page. And then when I get to the top of the stencil, I will move the stencil to the top of the page. Okay? You don't need to watch me do this whole thing. But you use your palette knife and your texture paste. I don't know if you've made your own texture paste or if you're using a store-bought. I've never used a store-bought, so I just have the stuff I made, which I happen to love. Pretty grand stuff. All right, let me continue on. All right, so I put the texture paste working up, then I picked my stencil up and I put it on the top of the page by her. And then there's a little piece down here that I want to get. Underneath her little chin. There we go. I'll go back in here. There's a little bit more on her face than I want, and I'll just go back in here with uh, a baby wipe and clean her up a little bit. And we're going to let her dry. Oh my gosh, isn't she gorgeous? She is just gorgeous. So here's the texture paste that I put on um, through the stencil, and it's all nice and dry. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the uh, black gesso if you haven't worked with black gesso, it's very fun. A little intimidating at first because it is very black. And I'm just going to paint right over that stencil, right over that texture paste. I'm going to go up to her edge, but I don't want to get too much on her. Okay, so just go ahead and paint that whole thing and then let it dry. And then we will come back with our sandpaper. All right, I have her all painted, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run my finger around the edge so that it's just not a harsh edge. Just blend that black gesso in a little bit into the focal point. 
just so it's not such a crisp edge. It's going to be quite a dramatic look. Stunning, actually. I can't wait. There. Just gives it a softer edge. <laughs> Black gesso. Black gesso 101. Make sure and get it all in all the grooves of your stencil, of your texture paste and stencil. Because you really want that to be in the grooves when you're sanding. You'll see. All right, gonna let her dry. Okay, different time of the day. We're in the afternoon now. The gesso's nice and dry. I'm gonna go in with some sandpaper now, and I'm just going to pick up the edges there. And bring that texture up. You get the idea. I'm going to turn the camera off and finish. Okay, there she is. So I sanded the uh, texture paste, and then I just gave it a little spritz of alcohol on a paper towel and cleaned up all the jibbles that were left from the sanding. I ripped off the edge here, took my Stabilo, and darkened the edge there so that that looks finished. And then I'll do the same here, just to give it a finished look on the edge. Ta-da! I am very, very, very happy with her. She's gorgeous. Very fun technique, huh? Texture paste, stencil, and black gesso. Go play, go create, go have fun. See you next time.